Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This week we have a couple students all the way from Silver Creek, Wisconsin. You know what's really cool is when you can find what you love to do and make a living at it. And even better, when your wife joins in and helps out. It takes teamwork to make the dream work. I'm Jeff Moore, the Northwoods Carver, and thanks for seeing what I saw. Welcome everybody back to my channel. This is Jeff Moore, the Northwoods Carver, and we have a special guest or two today. We have a couple of carvers. Well, there's one carver and one carving assistant, if this is what you would say. And they're from some random lake in Wisconsin, Silver Creek. Silver Creek, Wisconsin. And uh, I'd like you to meet Dave and Bonnie. Dave and Bonnie, come on into the frame. Don't block the curtain. That's right. <laughs> Dave and Bonnie are from some random, Brit, Lake. random Lake, Silver Creek. Which one is it? <laughs> we live in Silver Creek. Silver Creek, which is so it's where you can come. And Random Lake is not just it's, so it's not a, a, a random lake. No, nope, that the, is the name the of the random town. Lake. The random lake. Pretty cool. Anyway, so they're going to be here taking um, some some lessons on some certain things that they want to work on, some painting techniques, and if you guys stick around, we'll be able to uh, maybe get a little bit more action. It sounded horrible. <laughs> we're going to... Okay. Cut. So we're, if you stick around, we'll be able to get some footage of these two uh, learning and blossoming before our eyes. So stick around, don't forget to like and subscribe, smash that notification bell, and uh, we'll see you in a second. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. Yeah, <laughs> oh, oh, that's better. So what we're doing here is this something I like to do with the people that do come to the classes is that we do this, these control exercises and it's kind of like a breathing thing actually. It's um, how breathing can affect your when you go like extreme detail and how you hold your saw is all critical. And we're just trying to uh, kind of make sense, well for him because he's never done this type of thing before and um, he caught on pretty quick and we did uh you know i think towards the end or maybe at the end of this video he's gonna say something to the effect of um you know what i asked him what he got out of this class and he said well <laughs> and this is true a lot of people do this um they'll come with a kind of an idea what they want to do or what they would expect from the class and they they get something else um, and that's common because most people, they don't, they don't know, you know, what they don't know, I suppose. They don't know what they don't know. Well, what I do know is that right in the center there, there's, uh, I was just showing Bonnie how to do some dry brushing. That's something she really wanted to learn and, uh, she picked up on it. It didn't take her long. Um, honestly, I think she got bored with it. <laughs> Uh, because it's not that hard so I, you know I just showed her a few things and I think she was done at that point but uh, as you can see we're we're going back and forth from my table or my my lift to that back area and we're just dealing with the saw and um, I taught him at this point I, I was just after I taught him how to dress the chainsaw bar correctly and uh, be be uh, you know just the whole night I, I i go through this with everybody so i did make a video on it but i didn't really go into that much detail on how i do it and what i do it and or what i do how i do it and and what it looks like when certain things happen and so that's all covered you know this is like a um that's just what i do and that was one of the things he said 
he really wasn't he didn't think like that would he didn't even think of that you know he, he's never thought about you know that kind of part of the maintenance but he said the things that he the things that he really basically want you know he thought he'd come here and carve a bear head with me or whatever and I can give him some tips and stuff and it just it's a full all nuts and bolts included kind of a thing where if you're here for a couple days you can get a lot out of it a lot and uh, this guy he, he picked up on um, everything pretty quick I mean he's been carving for about four and a half years and he had some familiarity I didn't see a bunch of issues with the his uh, his techniques and stuff he just needed to you know slow down and and uh, smooth it out a bit as you can see he's working on a little bear head I, I was just carving on this little bear myself just having some fun I was gonna have him help me on it but I was like you know what sometimes it's just better to sit and watch because if you've never seen it done before maybe you ought to do that first so we got her we got pretty far along before I just got him a block and uh, then I said hey why don't you carve an eagle on the other side because he was just gonna carve a bear and I was just like dude you know your business name is Eagle Feather for Pete's sake so uh, Eagle Feather Artisan so I said why don't we just do some eagles and get you started on it get him some resources and then uh, he took it as far as he could go and then I would take it a little farther then he'd do a little bit and then I'd do a little bit um, and then I just showed him how to manipulate the wood to create those shadows so basically it's the manipulation of shadow just like when you draw with a pencil you know you can go dark to light it's really cool <laughs> Okay, everyone, we're done. This is it. This is the end of the show. Uh, we have got uh, a roughed out bear. As you can see, he did not work on this bear. I just kind of did this one as a demonstration for uh, Dave. And he started on a bear. Where did he go? There you go. There you go. So this thing sat like right here or something. And I just thought, you know what? We got this. He started doing this cool thing. And I was like, let's just chop this off. And uh, we'll just start from scratch and then we'll put another eagle head. Because he really, he wants to learn to do really cool eagles. And uh, I, your name is Eagle? Eagle Feather Artisan. Eagle Feather Artisan. And you're out of? Silver Creek, Wisconsin. Silver Creek, Wisconsin. By some random lake. <laughs> Sheboygan Car. And Sheboygan, Sheboygan. Anyway, 
Sheboygan. Sheboygan. It's close to the lake. I know that. Not the some lake. I'm just talking about big to the big lake, Mid Lake Michigan. Michigan. So yeah, they're on the. They're about two hours east. And uh, so anyway, they're about ready to pack up their trophies um, and go home. So uh, I just wanted to talk to Dave a little bit and just see like what he was able to um, gather from his time spent here. No pressure, Dave. And um, and without my wife or his wife laughing. And go. Uh, all right, well, that was a great two days here. Um, I showed up with expectations of learning what I thought I needed to learn. And uh, can you divulge anything from that list? Yeah, things? well, I wanted to come and carve, carve a bear head or try a very realistic bear. Um, and really we went in a different direction and I learned more than I expected. Things right. I didn't think I needed to know, but uh, the throwaway stuff. Me a, it'll help me a lot in the future. Yeah, it will. And I, I make sure that everybody that comes here understands all that stuff. Because now you're starting to get these, uh, these little battery saws, and you know they have they come with expensive little bars and chains, and I can't stress it enough how much it's imp how important it is for people to understand how to dress their bars and chains and what to look out for as far as um, trouble, trouble uh, shooting. And um, so we went through all that and I'm uh, dressing the bars and you know, we discussed all the problematic things that can happen and uh, what the aftermath looks like so that he's got that knowledge in his head. So, cause he's a professional, this is all he wants to do, this is all he does full-time carver so and you've been in what, how long now about oh, four and a half years four and a half years so these are things he didn't know which is better that he does know better. yeah make you better more uh more self-sufficient so you're not you know bringing your saws and, and just going hey can i have a new bar because this one's yeah. smoked or whatever so he'll he'll know all that stuff been there yep and the other thing that I don't think you were probably prepared for is like the art lesson, the the shadow, the light, and yeah. you know and how it plays, and and uh, I I don't think you when you first showed up you didn't have a clue. That was one of the things I wasn't expecting, and it mm -hmm. opened my eyes to how to carve and make it appealing. You know? Yep, yep, and it's all about the light. If it doesn't look good in light, you know, you can paint it, but it probably still won't look all that great. But uh, yeah, turn that thing sideways to get the profile of this guy. Yeah, so so this is what we're talking about. Having, you know, doing things subtly to create shadows. And uh, he did a great job. But uh, so Bonnie and Dave are heading back tonight. They're gonna pack up here. My three pairs past the freckle. And uh, we're gonna call it a day. Thanks everyone for watching and uh, thanks Dave and, and Bonnie for hanging out with us and getting some pizza. And uh, maybe we had a few cocktails, <laughs> maybe. That, that was, that's still up for debate. And uh, we had a great time. They're great people and they're welcome back anytime. If you're interested in doing one of these deals, Instagram, Facebook, email, Telephone. Or telephone me. I'll leave my well, you can just get me up on the hit me up on the just call just don't call me. Just <laughs> well, well I mean after we talk you can call me. Or I mean after you email me or Instagram me or Facebook me messenger. Then we'll arrange for you to call me. And I will give you my personal phone number that I use every day. And you can call me and we can have a discussion. Just like Dave and I did. Wasn't that great, Dave? We had good, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> good time. Good time. <laughs> All right, well, Dave's tired. He wants to hit the road. It's dark. And uh, that's it. So everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.